Happy Saturday evening. It's Pat here and I just, I don't know, I just can't stop looking at it. This is my Dear Jane blocks that I started, I think back in 1998. I know some of these are dated 2001, but I know that they were swaps. So I was doing this much sooner than that. And I got a certain amount of those done and then decided, hmm, I didn't want to work on that anymore. I went on to other things. The Dear Jane blocks are a bit challenging because there really aren't directions. There's just a diagram in the book uh, and it's a whole big community and a process. And anyways, I lost interest and I put it away, but I kept them. And then at some point I got it out and I thought I am going to add an alphabet. So I added an alphabet and I applied some of them. They're all fused, real easy, and I applied them. And then I decided, hmm, I laid them out. I actually had pictures, and I had enough of the pieced block, or the the other, the Dear Jane blocks. I had enough of those, and I laid it out. And I'm like, I didn't get any more done. But I did actually applique a lot of them. Then I put it away again. So real recently, like. I don't know, just a couple weeks ago or not even that long ago, I got the bag out when I was sorting through things and organizing and I have had the bag and I thought, let's just see where this is. Let's just see how close this is that I could actually put it together. Because so in the, you know, what, what was I going to do? So I put them up on the wall and I put the blocks up and I realized that I had enough blocks. I didn't have to make any more. I actually had one extra. Where is it? I ended up, this was um, a duplicate. It's really pathetic. <laughs> I did these a long, long time ago. My skill sets were really, really bad, but this actually applique, but it's not very uniform. But there were two of these, so maybe I decided at one point I would redo this one, <laughs> so I had enough blocks. Uh, I could have decided to make it bigger. You know, I could have done that, but I was done with this. I wanted to be done with this project. And the other thing too, is that I looked at it and thought, you know, I don't want to, um, I don't want to put sashing in it. I don't want to do any of that stuff. I just want to set it. And it'll be a nice size. It's not too big if I do that. So I went ahead and I left the applique blocks out that still needed stitch. Did I forget? There were maybe six no there's more than that there may be 10 blocks of these stitch so over a few maybe it took a week or so before i kind of got to change the feet and find the thread and you know i was they're red so i wasn't piecing with red so you know how that goes right you know you, you don't have the right thread in are you motivated to wind a bobbin <laughs> put the different foot on get the stitch up so anyways i did all that i got them done and then I thought, oh my gosh i have everything ready to set the rows and all i'm doing going to do is to set them side by side Okay, the next challenge was some of the blocks were, these are five inches. They finished at four and a half inches. So they're tiny <laughs> and, and some of them weren't big enough. Some of them were really, really wonky. I'm going to um, do a blog post about this because there was one block, it's at the bottom, this one here, that I may have showed you the picture of. It was incredibly uh, uh, out of shape. I mean, it was like, you know, one side was bigger than the other side. So anyways, I did a little um, photo step. I did some photos as I took it apart and I put it back together and got it in size. Some of them I had to add a border on, but I just said, I'm just doing it. And then the other day I showed you my uh, border options. I had a batik that was mostly golden. And then I had this print here. And I just, I was pretty sure I was going to use this print because that was my first reaction is that one. But I had the other gold one that was in the bag with all the blocks. And so I decided, um, no, I'm going to do the gold one. And I did the inner border with the charcoal, which is from my Bonnie Lane fabric. So uh, I actually, okay, now do you do this? I'm just, I did this silly thing. I thought I had a piece of fabric. I didn't have enough of it that I liked. And I thought, okay, I'll order a little bit more. So I ordered it and then I was like, I don't want to wait. I want to set this now. So, so now I have a piece of fabric coming that I will just go in my stash. But it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. Uh, so I'm just so excited. I also did some, um, I would call it fussy connecting uh, so that the borders you don't really see, can't really see. I, I made them so they 
pretty much you know, where the seam is because all of this had to be seamed. All the borders had to be seamed. None of them were long enough. And I thought about buying more fabric. And of course, this is a much older piece of fabric and I couldn't find it anywhere on the internet. I did look. <laughs> It did look, couldn't find it. So I decided to piece it and it worked out beautifully. And it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. So I'm just really excited. I am uh, so excited to be able to show it to you. And I'll do, I'll do a write up about it uh, during the, maybe not next week, maybe the week after, because I've got a lot of things for next week. Uh, and I want to remind you, Monday is my fireside chat and I am going to focus on a monthly challenge. Because my idea of a monthly challenge or your idea of a monthly challenge might be a bit different. And I'll tell you a little bit about what I was thinking. So I'm Pat, Pat Sloan. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of my community, part of my neighborhood, my quilting neighborhood. I love you. I love that you help each other. You're an amazing group. If you're watching this on YouTube, come see my group at Quilt Along with Pat Sloan at Facebook. Talk to you later.